We are very excited to announce that as of right now, Alamo Music is a dealer for Patrick James Eggle guitars. Without a doubt, some of the finest electric guitars we've ever played. Stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you want to support the channel, visit our Spring Store link below for custom swag and check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, this video has been a long time coming. We've kind of had this somewhat under wraps. If you follow us on Instagram, you might have actually been clued into the fact that we uh, are now dealers for Patrick James Eggle guitars uh, because they were finishing up one of the guitars for us, not one of these actually, um, and kind of posted and tagged us and you know, all of that cool stuff. And we're, we're very excited. Um, what we have today is the first uh, guitars from our order. And it is a pair of uh, Patrick James Eggle's Macon semi-hollow um, and then a uh, carved top. All right, so I've got the semi-hollow, you've got the carved top, top, and then we've got man. another very cool semi-hollow. Got the goods. Dang, these are freaking awesome. Yeah, so we we have the brands that we carry, that we like, that we show you all the time, and then behind the scenes, Chris and I are always looking for new acquisitions and stuff that we believe in, that we like. This was one thing that Chris has been talking about for a very long time. And he definitely pushed it over the finish line and actually kind of put these together with Mr. Eggle himself. Yes. And uh, they are each very, very pretty, play incredibly, and, um, you know, the look is, is perfect. So, yeah. yeah, if you're not familiar with Patrick James Eggle and his guitars, um, it's, you know what, you're forgiven if you're in the United States, but he's pretty well known overseas. These guitars are made in the U.K., um, in a small town called Austri, Austri, something like that. Um, and I became familiar with him a few years back, actually. I happened to stumble upon a guitar that he had made, and I, I wanna say it was like the late 90s. Uh, he had this kind of uh, double cut electric guitar, I think called the Berlin, something to that effect. And I stumbled upon one at a guitar show, um, probably, 2014, 2015. And it's kind of one of those guitars that got away. Yeah. I didn't have the coin to buy it at the time and was so thoroughly impressed. I'm like, who is this guy? Um, and I, I told Patrick uh, when we spoke that I had a chance to uh, play some of his acoustic guitars that he was making for a period of time. If you're familiar with Faith guitars, he's very involved with Faith and their higher end stuff are his designs. Um, but these guitars are built in really a small workshop where there's like nine of them, nine guys building truly boutique instruments to the highest level oh, yeah. of expertise. I mean, they're, they're really phenomenal instruments. Yeah, every, every piece of these from the, the wood itself, mm -hmm. uh, the trim out, the inlays, the finish is incredible. Uh, the pickups sound amazing. So yeah, I, I kind of want you to go through, first of all, the making is mm -hmm. the body style. Yes. Um, Classic single cut. Classic single cut, definitely inspired by uh, the more famous single cut, which would be the Les Paul, uh, but with Patrick's own spin on things. Yeah. Um, I should say, it was it's really a delight. He's a lovely uh, gentleman. I haven't met him in person, but we've spoken over the phone. Uh, funny story, though, being that they're across the pond uh, in the UK, a little different time zone, and when we first communicated via email, he's like, hey, I, uh, I'll give you a call at like 2.30, and I was like, cool. And I didn't ask any questions, and then I was like, did he mean my time or his time? And so I got up at, uh, I calculated it, and I got up at like four in the morning, my time, just in case he meant his time. Um, and he thought that was really funny when I told him later that day. It's like, yeah, I was up at four, and after about 30 minutes, I figured I was, you meant my time. So. That's the dedication of Chris <laughs> McKee, the, the things he goes through to get a good guitar. You know, um, and I do it all for y'all. Um, so yeah, it was really a very cool collaborative effort. If you're, so again, if you're not familiar with their guitars, um, some great dealers overseas like Peach Guitars will do videos on them. And you might have actually seen something if you are like us and you spend a lot of time on guitar, YouTube, and Instagram because uh, Tyler Larson from Music is Win did a thing with um, Tim Pierce. And they were looking for a guitar and looking at all these boutique guitars and he bought a, a Macon, a carved top. 
And, uh, and that guitar was phenomenal, and they've done some recordings with it. Um, but, you know, he was on my radar even well before all of that stuff, so it was really cool to finally get these because yeah. everybody's kind of over the moon, and yet not a lot of people know about them. Yeah, and so then Chris was over at our other store, and these came in, and I got to do the tease. <laughs> of course, as soon as they got in, I opened up all of them. Um, but I want you to kind of, let's start with the semi-hollows. Sure. Because uh, I want you to go through the specs and kind of how you put these together because they're similar. They are. But they've got a couple key differences. Yeah, and, and we should say, so in this video we're featuring the Macon, um, and the Macon comes in a few different iterations. So there's the, the base Macon is kind of like a Les Paul special. There's no maple top, and then there's a single cut version, and then you get into the carved top and the semi hollows. He also makes uh, a few other body shapes, the 96, which we have on order, which is kind of a Strat style body, um, and one called the Oz, uh, or the Oz Zed, I don't know, Oz Zed? <laughs> Who knows how they do it. I should there. ask him. Uh, and that's kind of a Tele style, and those are, they have traditional versions, they have drop top versions, they have carved top versions, and we have a lot of that stuff that's also still coming in. So you wanna stay tuned for those reviews, so you know, subscribe and turn on notifications so you will know. Uh, but I was excited to get these in. Uh, they're classic single cuts, but they have uh, kind of his own treatment to it. So, you know, the first thing that you notice when you turn it around is that it does not look like a normal Les Paul. Um, you've got the belly carve. You've got like a nice carve out here at the heel. The way the neck slips in to the body and creates that curvature is extremely comfortable. It's also very beautiful looking. Yeah. And there's just an eye to like the artistic design and the execution for a musician and all of this, even down to like the way that the covers for the cavities are. Yeah. Um, like anodized gold covers, it's instead of like a black plastic, it's yeah. just, it's really premium. The tuners, if we stay on the back here, are open gear tuners um, that are just really a joy to, go -toes. to tune. Yeah, go toes. Um, I love his headstock. I love the, the logo that's up there. It's also premium. The, uh, you know, serial numbers being handwritten on the backs, yeah. a nice little nod to it's like, the kind of shop it's coming from. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's like these elements of certain, like this reminds me of Les Paul Access a little bit, but yeah. it's, it still feels traditional with the modern kind of player stuff. Yeah. Um, the necks? So the necks, so, and it's easier to notice a little bit on the one that you have, which is a flamed maple neck. Um, so the finish is shot, this is all old school nitro, by the way. Um, they're not in California. Easy to shoot, I guess, in the UK. So uh, the top of the headstock is sprayed with nitro. The heel is sprayed with nitro. The middle of the neck, the way I've heard uh, Patrick explain it, is like super, uh, like four rot steel wool and then gun stock oil and then four rot steel wool and gun stock oil. It's the smoothest feeling neck yeah. I've ever put in my hands. Outside of, of like a really old vintage guitar that's yeah. just been played forever. Um, so it's got a really nice play, played in feel, very fast feel to it. So yeah, I got the maple, flame maple neck, you got the mahogany. Yep. Um, and then, especially on here, I mean, the, the binding on the fingerboard, the flame maple on there, mm -hmm. it just, it looks great on both. This kind of, you know, as it turns into the body and what you got, it's, uh, we are big fans of guitars that accept, are accentuated and appointed with wood, mm -hmm. with good looking wood. And so these are definitely, like it kind of gives it that cross between the modern and traditional kind of look, you know, yeah. but I, I love it. Now the tops on these are just ridiculous. Yeah, um, It's one of the things in dealing with uh, a company like this where you can get what would be extremely costly premium features from a big, you know, builder um, is just kind of standard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these are like 4A flamed tops um, with beautiful nitro finishes. Now, we did, this is a lemon burst, this is faded gold burst. On the vintage style colors, he offers to do a hand burnished, uh, you know, finish on it where they're gonna go back and kind of knock it down a bit. And he asked me, is that what you want? I said, absolutely, yeah. that's what I love. And so these, these are gloss, but it's not super, super shiny, sticky kind of feeling, you know what I mean? Um, the inlays, every, everyone's already a big fan of the inlays. Yeah. So outline, out, outline trapezoid, mm -hmm. say that five times fast. 
Um, Accentuated without my trapezoid. <laughs> there we go. We finally got it. No pick guard. No, you know, little hockey puck or, or poker chip around there. Uh, these have the wraparound adjustable bridge. I believe go, it's go to hardware on all of this stuff. Um, the pickups are also very cool. So one of the things I like about this is these are Mojo pickups, and they're not Mojo tone, so you don't get confused. Mojo pickups is also in the UK. They're handmade pickups. If you go to the website, there's a little note on there that the guy who runs Mojo is the guy who makes the website, is the guy who answers the phone, is the guy who makes the pickups. Um, so very bespoke. Yeah. And it, it is my understanding these are path style pickups, but these are an iteration of his pickups made specifically for Eggle guitars. Um, so very, very cool. And then of course, the carve top. Yeah. Um, this is in a iced tea burst finish. Reveal binding, um, similar to what you'd see on like a PRS. No binding on the neck on this one. Um, and also, th if you didn't notice, these have a darker fingerboard because these, uh, both of the semis are uh, ebony and this is rosewood. Rosewood, um, but all the others, I mean, insane top on insane this one. Insane top. You know, insane top. Got the more, uh, you know, Les Paul-esque, I guess, you know, with the uh, right. tunematic and the stop, stop tail. tail. The tunematic bridge on this has these beautiful brass saddles. If you know, you know. If you know. And it's done in kind of a an aged uh, aesthetic for the hardware. Uh, which yeah, even the, the pickup covers on here yeah. match, go along with the finish itself. Um, the feel of these guitars, this one is mahogany on the neck. Mm -hmm. um, they those especially are super light, but even this for yeah. for a full on mahogany maple top, they're light. They're super well balanced. They feel good. The necks are insane, um, and the pickups are perfect for the guitar. You know, um, so it's one thing to have open the case and see something really really nice looking, but then playing them today and plugging them into the amp, they speak for themselves. Speaking of which, the case that I'm talking about. <laughs> The cases are insane. Well, after the demo, we'll have to grab a case and show you guys. The, everything about this is very premium, but and, and we'll get into this a little bit more after the demo, but uh, very, very premium, bespoke, custom made, uh, but less expensive than a similar guitar from a different company, which is compelling on its own. These are not inexpensive guitars by any stretch of the imagination, but you could argue that there's more value in what's going into these guitars. Um, and they are really, truly special. It's, it's kind of like what we say in a lot of things where, you know, if you're in the know, uh, you know. And, and it's nice to find something like this where it's less well known, it's truly special, and it's built by an entire team uh, that really cares about their craft. So, yeah, for sure. Um, and yeah, incredible fit, finish, and setup immediately. Yeah. So, we should take a listen. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Okay, so there you have it. Incredible sounding guitars, and each one's really unique. Yeah. Um, when we were listening to how each one, you know, I really was curious. And by the way, this is like a little uh, nod to those people who wonder, do tone woods matter, or is it all in the pickups? Each one of these guitars sounds different. The two semi-hollow guitars, this mahogany one versus the maple-necked one, 
sounds different. We immediately in the room heard a lot more brightness from the maple one and a kind of a thicker mid-range yeah. coming from this one. And then the non-semi-hollow one. Totally different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very thick and punchy. So, yeah, I love all three. It's hard to pick a favorite, and I'm also excited to see the other stuff because, like Chris said, they kind of shouted out another guitar that we've got coming. And just the top on that one, it was unfinished. It was just like we know it's going to be yeah. insane. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited to grow with them. I was already excited for the guitars, and then we got the case. And um, It's cool. What would you call that, like a gray tweed? Oh yeah, it's like a gray tweed guy, and uh, you open it up, and it's nice. Yeah, get a nice fretboard cover there. Yeah, the fretboard was covered. They've got like, humidity information in there and everything. You get a little packet of goodies, and then this is how uh, all of your specifications are communicated, all handwritten there because it's a handmade guitar. Um, very cool. Fat C, this is for the, uh, the semi-hollow. That's the mahogany. Yes, yeah, this one, one. You've got, right? Yeah. So... Um, yeah, it's very cool. We should say, so talking about some of the specifications, um, this one, the mahogany necked semi-hollow in faded gold burst, uh, I specified. And a lot of this was actually feedback from uh, Patrick. So I sent in an order and he's like, hey, I have some thoughts. What do you think? And I'm like, yeah, I think we should go with your thoughts. Uh, so one of those thoughts was that on this mahogany one and on the a carved top with mahogany neck. It's a fatter C shape neck, really mm -hmm. comfortable. Um, and then it's a it's a thinner C shape on the uh, maple necked one. Yeah, I and mean the yeah. output of the pickups is output specified. Output of the pickups and the weight of your guitar signed by the person that six did the pounds, final assembly. Six ounces, just like me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a. Uh, Nothing was forgotten in the process of these. So we, I mean, I saw when Chris was putting together the uh, the builds, it's like every single step was checked off. This is exactly what this guitar is going to be like. They were delivered perfectly. The cases are amazing. The sound is amazing. Like nothing is neglected in this process, and it's it's really cool. You know, and, and Josh asked me a question before we were filming uh, because, you know, we've kind of mentioned on this channel before there's an – it's almost notorious. We order something from some of these larger companies, and it'll take years. Um, I think it was September when we ordered these, and he told me, I think they'll probably arrive in January, February. It's possible maybe at the end of December, but that's about the time frame. And really, that's the time frame. Um, yeah. And so they were spot on. And, you know, I just, I, it's one thing to, deal with like a sales rep at a company. It's another thing to be able to talk to the man um, yeah. and to you know really hear his feedback and thoughts on the stuff that you like him to build. I saw him on, uh, they have some pretty cool stuff on their Instagram and he was talking once about uh, a dealer was just like, do whatever you want. And he was so excited about that. And I, I kind of want to do that. I was like, hey, what do you think? You just come up with something and, and you know, talk yeah. to us about it. It'd be fun. It can't be bad. <laughs> no, no, no. He, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, um, yeah, these were our first three. We got two others from the initial order on the way, and I think yeah. we got another handful after that. However, um, we're going to do some comparisons with the most obvious comparison of a make and carve top. Um, and once we get into other stuff, we'll do more comparisons. But if you have been looking for something a little special in that upper echelon of a handmade incredible guitar, um, we have these now. Well, and, and let's talk pricing on these just yeah. for, for what they are, because uh, I brought it up. So, um, and check me on this, because we looked at it ahead of time. You can check our website for all of the pricing, because you know could be subject to change. The semi-hollows are both priced the same, and it was 60... 67.20. 67.20. Yeah. I would like you to go to another place and spec a custom-made 4A flame top semi-hollow guitar. By the way, it's not a it's not a veneer like an ES Les Paul would be. That's a solid, you know, maple cap that's, you know, been carved out for the semi-hollow. Uh, yeah. Which and, is crazy because there's <laughs> another brand right down the street from us that they'll do a solid... Oh, yeah. I mean, you're eight, nine, thousand, whatever. Right. So, yeah, go on. Yeah, so again, there's a lot of value, like I said before. And then on the carved top, it was 54... 54 something. 5420. So, yeah. Um, and, and we're going to compare that. So, you know, watch this channel. We're going to compare that with uh, the most obvious... 
thing to compare it to, and uh, the pricing is considerably different. So yeah, and uh, yeah, I can be happier with these. I think something that would be cool for us to grow into is as we make stuff, getting input mm -hmm. from from y'all and what you'd like to see because there's a lot that this builder covers in terms of styles. Or even if you'd like to custom order one. So, yeah. you know, we, we can put anything together. Um, I've got all of the sheets from Patrick if you uh, are interested in like um, something like this, but in a, you know, blue or whatever, um, you know, you can contact us and we can put it together for you and get a time frame and a price and get it going. So. Yeah. Very cool. I'm so excited. I've been waiting it. for these with bated breath. So. Yeah. They, they didn't did not, disappoint. They did yeah. not disappoint yeah. at all. So if you uh, want to see the rest, like I said at the beginning, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and that you turn on notifications so when we get the other ones in and do the reviews, you'll know about them. Like this video so that other people that are interested in this stuff will find out about it. Um, and yeah, check out our website for all of our Patrick James Eggle guitars. Thanks so much for watching.